So I first played Cyberpunk 2077 when it came out on the PS4, which was at launch, essentially. I played it on a PS4 Slim, had a great time playing the game. It was a lot of fun, but it was plagued with bugs, lots of blue screens. Uh, I think the review I did on the PS4 um, was the first video I ever had that went viral, got like 35,000 views, which at the time was just absolutely mind-boggling for my channel. Um, but I always swore I would come back and try the game again okay. on the next-gen console at some point. And at that point, I didn't have a next-gen console. Um, and then I've had the Xbox Series X for, I guess, a year and a half now. And I've been really enjoying it. And the game is out and has been out for a while now on the Series X. And um, since I knew I was going to be playing Phantom Liberty when it came out, it uh, meant that I had to also get the base game on the Xbox, even though I already own it on the PS4. And they were running a sweet deal recently where I was able to get the two together for a nice uh, lowered price discount, which you always got to love. So I am prepped and ready to go now for Phantom Liberty. And since I have Cyberpunk 2077 installed on my Series X, I thought it was a perfect time to jump in and play through the Nomad intro and just see what it's like and sort of do a hybrid first impressions video of of uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Since I've technically played the game before, I know the story and everything else, but uh, this is more about what's it look and feel like on the Xbox Series X, and give you guys all a chance to uh, see that accordingly. As we dive in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update as we continue to play all sorts of RPGs like Baldur's Gate 3, Starfield, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, upcoming games like Star Wars Outlaws and Avowed, and so many other things we do here on the channel. Check out the podcasts, the playlists, join the Discord. Let's get on and uh, keep talking about this game. So one of the first things I noticed was that the game is just incredibly performant in comparison to the PS4 Slim version was. Um, everything is just far more streamlined, responsive. Everything looks crisp and everything else. Um, this recording is done in 1080 uh, because the Xbox... I don't have a capture card, so I was literally just recording to my Xbox, and uh, I just recorded regular 1080 footage. But I do have a 4K TV, and this game in 4K looks absolutely amazing. So... Um, I'm debating getting a capture card, uh, considering I'll probably be streaming this in um, uh, September, late September, early, etc., the rest of this year, when it comes out for Phantom Liberty. So I'll probably worry about it then, but even in just regular old 1080, I think it looks absolutely amazing in this video here. Um, has, I, I, try, I have ray tracing turned on. The only thing I've noticed... And it's probably a setting for the controls is that as the default controls are, there's a, a look sensitivity where you start looking in a direction and the longer you hold the thumb pad in that direction, the quicker that pan happens, that turn. And that can be a little disconcerting. Um, and I'm assuming that's a control setting that I've got to get ironed out. And I still suck at driving, but... Uh, I think that um, for my money, this game looks and feels like something completely different on the Series X compared to the way I played it on the PS4 Slim back in the day. I mean, this is the game that should have released everywhere. And, you know, I still think that despite the bugs, it was an awesome game. And I'm really happy that uh, CD Projekt Red has managed to you know, bring themselves back into the good graces of everyone um, with the patches they've done to this game as well as the upcoming expansion that's dropping. Um, it looks amazing, the, the Phantom Liberty, and I gotta say, playing this on the Series X, it looks and feels amazing. Um, playing it on the big screen is a, a different experience. Uh, for streaming, I'll probably end up um, setting up a, a, um, a stream card to my monitor here. Um, but the, the 4K experience for this game has been absolutely mind-boggling. Um, we've got like a 50-inch 4K, and it just it just feels and looks really, really good. It, it looks and feels like a next-gen game. And I'm just sort of... I'm sitting here somewhat scratching my head at what went on at the corporate level for them to have made such a serious misstep in launching 
the old console versions in such a horrible state as they were when this game came out. Because as I understand it, the Xbox Series X, the PS5 didn't have a lot of issues, but everybody else did. Um, and um, I could say, like I said, the game was fun, but it was so bad that I just gave up trying to stream the game uh, when it came out. And I wasn't streaming full-time back then. That was when my channel was still in its very infant stages. Um, but I was, you know, occasionally streaming games, and I couldn't stream this game because I kept getting blue screen crashes. Um, but it was still a great storyline, and I played it and still had fun with it. And I, you know, looking back, comparing that to this, that 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 experience was like a six or seven out of ten. And everything I've seen so far in my short little jaunt into the Nomad intro in this video has just been ten out of ten. It's smooth, responsive. Everything is crisp. The paper's blowing across the ground. Everything just looks good with the ray tracing turned on. Um, I just, this is what, I, why? I mean, just, uh, this looks like, you know, something you would see on Netflix as an animated show. So I got nothing for pra nothing but praise for my uh, first impressions here for the um, Cyberpunk 2077 launch on the Series X. Um, looks great, guys. Can't wait for Phantom Liberty. Um... I'm going to sit here. We're going to go through the rest of the intro a little bit here um, and just kind of watch it play out so that you guys can see some combat action and some other stuff. So without further ado, let's get to the next section of the video. So this scene coming up used to eat my PS4 Slim alive, and I even went back about a year maybe six, eight months ago on the PS4 and checked to see what the patched version of the game um, played like. And it was much better than it was at launch. But this upcoming sequence here um, still bugged out multiple times during the experience. The audio lagged out like three or four times. There was tons of hitching. Um, it just wasn't that pleasant of an experience. This smooth as silk so this is your first intro into combat essentially and jackie's driving and you've got to pull out your gun and uh, deal with the cars that are chasing you the vehicles that are chasing you and it was a buggy ass experience on my playstation um even as recently as six eight months ago but this the frame rates are great this is ray tracing on like i'm just the, the series x is rocking this this uh this chase sequence i got nothing but praise for this this looks and feels like a completely different game um and i cannot wait to get a little bit deeper into the uh, playthrough once we get into phantom liberty stage and um i'm gonna go for something a little different next time this time um uh, the first time i played the game i went uh, all cool and some other stuff i went mostly as a rogue build uh, sneaking around and stuff and i kind of want to go with maybe some more uh, hacking abilities this time around but we'll see um the the spy component of the upcoming expansion has me really excited for what we're going to see in terms of combat and as far as my first impressions on the series x go this is a flawless implementation of a really cool chase scene um and it's just very 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 well done What's up, everybody? Quick commercial break here to give it a shout out to our guild champions, who are the highest tier memberships here on YouTube: Ancient Entity, Assassin Gamer 94, Bubblonia Rising, Crazy's Relative, Mujin, and Remedy. Thanks so much for the highest tier membership, and thanks to all of the members who support the channel because you keep me doing this full time. You too can become a supporter if you're new here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Join as a member. There's three different tiers. We do lots of special stuff: private polls, private. Videos, videos you get a shout out if you're the highest tier membership but you can also do one-off uh, donations in the form of super chats on any live stream or premiere you see and of course super thanks on any upload or youtube short whatever you can contribute it's great keeps me on the air full time keeps the cats fed keeps the homestead running anyway back to the video everybody so coming into this part where you finally get to know your partner um it's a really good chance to see different lighting and just the world building you crash into this garage here and suddenly you're getting out and and looking around and it's like okay slam the door shut we gotta hide and now it's time for a heart to heart with jackie wells who is a very important part of your early adventures in night city 
And um, I, guys, I cannot ex like I cannot oversell how good the story in Cyberpunk 2077 is. Now I haven't played it really since launch. Um, I did come back and, and like I said, about six eight months ago, I did the intro for the Street Kid one and uh, the Street. I forget what it's called. Um, and and just was checking it out, but that was still on the on the PS4. Um, like I said, I've said this multiple times throughout the video, and as far as my first impressions go for the Series X, um, 10 out of 10. It looks and feels absolutely amazing. Um, this is the CD Projekt Red that I, I know and love, right? This is this is The Witcher 3 in a sci-fi environment, and it feels absolutely freaking amazing. So... For me, I think um, I am so ready for this uh, Phantom Liberty expansion to drop the DLC. No idea how long it is, but people are calling it Cyberpunk 2.0 because it's got a revamped UI and some other stuff. So more than likely, what I'm going to do here is in mid-September, um, we're right now we're in the middle of Baldur's Gate 3 stuff, and then um, middle of August, we're going to start doing a little bit of pre-launch content for Starfield, and then probably mid-September, we'll start to get into the pre-launch content for Cyberpunk 2077 as we get a couple weeks out from the launch of the DLC. Um, those are the current plans, anyway. So yeah, looks and feels great, but let's let Jackie wind up the video here for us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon, everybody, so you never miss an update. Let's go uh, finish the tutorial's on. intro here. Sure. Think it'll make us happy. Us. Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gonk interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pet. Got the name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way... You, uh, got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? Why do you ask? Because I got this feeling you got a lot of time and nothing to spend it on. And NC ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. But don't you worry. Let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like, uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. Thanks, much appreciated. Hey, come on, it's nothing. They got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it, partner. Hey! Aw, cuddly little fucker. Okay, partner, time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here. 